When I take part in a Canadian Mental Health Association program, uh, I feel like I'm working with a team that supports me as a parent. Welcome to the website for Confident Parents Thriving Kids. You're probably here because your child is struggling in one way or another, which is getting in the way of their happiness, your family's well-being, or your child's ability to thrive in school, at home, or with friends. We offer a family-friendly, free telephone coaching program, along with information on how best to support kids aged 3 to 12 with mild to moderate anxiety and or behavior problems. This program is a very good program. It will help you understand your children a little better. It will point out some resources for you and give you the help that you need. Something that's free, that's backed by research, that's been proven, um, that's been, you know, effective. Um, yeah, you obviously can't beat that. The Anxiety Program helps parents and caregivers address six different types of anxiety, including social worries, separation anxiety, specific fears, general worries, obsessive compulsive symptoms, and selective mutism. The Anxiety Program includes a series of videos with demonstrations and suggestions on how to put new skills into action. It also includes weekly telephone sessions with a trained coach to discuss how all of this relates to your child's situation and to help you problem solve along the way. I was a part of the behavior program, uh, which came into my family's life at a very critical juncture when we were struggling with some behaviors. Um, and I think what I liked so much about the program uh, was that it was really proactive, solution-focused, action-focused. My kids would often get excited, so what's the, what are we working on this week in terms of the program? The behavior program also offers telephone coaching to help parents better manage behavior problems that create challenges for your child at home, at school, and in social settings. These problems may include disruptive behavior, uncooperative behavior, or aggression. Now, lots of children have worries and behavior problems. So how do you know which program is right for you, or whether you would benefit from both programs? No, I'm not going to school today. First, you'll want to consider whether your child's behavior problems mainly come up when they are worried. In cases where misbehavior is mostly happening when children are anxious or worried about something, the anxiety program is probably the best place to start. On the other hand, do you find yourself battling your child to complete even basic requests, whether or not they seem worried? If you're finding that behavior in general is a struggle, and you're feeling frustrated or ineffective, then the behavior program is the right place to start. I'm excited about this program because it will show me that there's other people out there like me. And I'll be able to see that I'm not the only one with a child with fears and worries. And I'm not the only parent who may be sad or upset or struggling. And it would give me hope that, you know, this is manageable and it's something that we can do. If I don't understand anything, I can check in with a coach and, and they may be able to explain a little bit better, uh, you know, uh, the strategy or the skill that I'm trying to learn. I think it's really important that parents have had input into the program and the development of the program mm -hmm. because, for one, that shows that the program cares what parents think. It excites me that this program is at no cost, because a lot of people shy away at costs, especially if you're struggling with rent and food and, and you know outside things for your child. Both programs serve Indigenous and non-Indigenous families. In fact, the program is designed with families of all kinds in mind. Single parents, multiple caregiver families, and families of different cultural backgrounds. Mental health right now is being seen across the different cultures as a very important issue. I would like to tell my people that the Canadian Mental Health Association 
is reaching out to us and trying to work with us to give us these services and these wonderful programs that can help not only the parents and the kids, but the community as a whole. If you would like to access help, please follow the steps outlined on this website. We will ask you a few short questions to make sure this program is right for you, and then we'll get you started.